hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is yanza's kitchen thank you so much for stopping by and on today's episode we'll be making the very very tantalizing fish pepper soup and i already chopped my onions i have my ugu leaf here i have my scotch bonnet pepper and the fish itself i'm showing you the ingredients i'll be using for this recipe first before i start making the entire video so i'm putting my fish into the pot make sure that you mix it thoroughly because it's catfish it's a very fresh fish and i'm going to allow it cook for a while i'm going to add water yes you can add a lot of water not too much but at least medium water once it's pepper soup it can have water inside then i allow it cook yes it's a fresh fish you have to allow it cook for a while then i added my chopped onions into it I added my onions into it, then my scotch bonnet pepper. Yes, there is <laughs> no pepper soup without pepper. Not that it has to be so pepperish because you have to consider elderly living first, but at least there should be pepper inside. I just always want to add curry inside my pepper soup because it gives this very, very nice smell and a very, very captivating smell that you would like to Adding curry is very optional. It depends on you. You might decide not to put it at and I added my seasoning cube. Yes, I'm using no for this particular pepper soup. It helps to amplify the taste, the fish smell, not brings out that kind of smell you're expecting. And I'm adding salt, just a pinch of salt, just a little salt. And at this point, I'm adding my pepper soup spice yes i'm adding my pepper soup spice i'm just going to allow this to rest for a while after i added my pepper soup spice just so that all this seasoning cube and the spice can enter into the fish itself then i gave it a light mix because i don't want the whole fish to scatter into the pot on most occasions it is very better to um, shake the pot than use spoon if you don't know how to use this spoon for making pepper soup the whole fish will just scatter into the pot i added vegetable oil into it just a little bit of vegetable or you can just measure it you can even use one teaspoon and adding ugu yes ugu leaf this is the last thing you should be adding into your ugu pepper soup. into the pepper soup and allowed it to rest for a while i'm adding my ugu leaf yes into the pepper soup and after I'm adding this, I'm going to allow it to sit and rest for a while. I covered it here. And after that, it came out so, so, so beautiful. So you can decide to take this pepper soup alone. You can decide to serve it with white rice. Yes, especially white rice. And you put that pepper soup drip on it. Like all this watery parts, you put it into it at it gives the white rice a very very delicious a very very delicious taste so it's ready to be served thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video this is yazu's kitchen thanks so much for stopping by